One of five U.S. tourists recently arrested in Turks and Caicos for mistakenly carrying ammunition in their luggage received a suspended sentence of one year today. The four other Americans' cases are making their way through the courts. As we follow the story, Rena Bitter is here with us to share essential guidance for any Americans planning on traveling outside of the country. She's the Assistant Secretary for Consular Affairs at the U.S. State Department. Rena, good to have you. We know many countries have different laws. How can Americans prepare better so they don't end up in a foreign jail? Um, Lindsay, thank you so much for the opportunity to talk to your uh, audience today. Um, we do have um, some tips I would love to share with you, but the most important thing for me uh, to, to mention to your audience is our travel.state.gov website. And there we have pages on virtually every country in the world where we offer travel advice uh, to people traveling to various destinations. And one of the things that we talk about for every single country in the world is exactly as you're talking about, ways in which local laws might differ from what we are used to in the United States. For example, um, in, in many countries, substances that we're perfectly comfortable with here in the United States, maybe cannabis or even um, medications, might not be uh, legal in the countries that you're traveling to. And certainly items like firearms are often illegal in foreign destinations. So we really hope that people will go to our website, travel.state.gov, and check out our travel advice. Uh, and while you're there, although hopefully you will never need it, you're also um, able to find contact information for our embassies and consulates all over the world. And should somebody, should an American have difficulty overseas while traveling, um, they're able to contact one of our embassies or consulates 24-7 where there's a duty officer who can assist them. So is there anything that can be done before a trip, any, any kind of registering so that, God forbid, something should happen and an American is detained overseas, sort of that process is a little expedited? Right. No, that's a great question. So also on travel.state.gov, when you're looking at uh, the country information pages, you can also enroll in STEP which is our Smart Traveler Enrollment Program. And that will let you get information on safety and security for your destination while you're traveling there. Um, it's super easy to enroll. It's uh, very quick. And again, travel.state.gov is where you can, uh, you can register. The other thing that enrolling in STEP gives you is, again, it, it is a very rare occasion. But in case there's an emergency and the embassy needs to reach you, they'll have your information. We'll be able to locate you more quickly. We also suggest that people follow us on uh, social media at TravelGov because we repost security information there as well and also as travel tips. You know, uh, if somebody is going overseas, what should they bring on them? And we were talking uh, in our meeting and somebody mentioned um, you know, three copies of your passport to the government. If something happens right. to it, you have to, what, what should we be traveling with? Right. Um, you mentioned passports, and I'm uh, so glad that you did. Like one of the most important things to do if you're planning on traveling this year is to, wherever you are right now, go check the expiration date on your passport and make sure that it's valid. A lot of countries require six months uh, on your passport in order to enter. Huh. And not having that is the best way to ruin a vacation before it starts, quite frankly. But it's a, it is great advice to snap a photo of the bio page of your passport. Um, maybe keep that on you, but also send it to your family and friends at home so that they uh, can have a copy of it in case, again, it's quite rare, but in case you're robbed and you lose your phone and your passport, um, it, then folks will be able to have a copy for you. And also, um, it's also really good advice, uh, two other things. One is just keep in touch with people, let them know where you are um, so that if they need to reach you or if anything happens, you have folks who know um, where you're gonna be at any given time. Uh, and then one other thing is, um, thinking about purchasing travel insurance, again, in the very rare instance that you suffer a medical emergency overseas. Um, a lot of people don't know that medical insurance doesn't always cover a medical emergency <coughs> overseas. So it's good advice when you're on travel.state.gov and looking at our travel advice uh, to make sure that you understand a little bit about the medical system there and that you understand your own insurance. And in case there's an emergency that you purchase in advance uh, some travel insurance. Okay, sorry, I sneezed at the tail end there, but Rita Bitter, thank you for your time, and we wish you and your colleagues a Thanks. safe Memorial Day weekend. Thank you.